everyone welcome back and thank you so much for stopping by my people in this particular video dr kemi sent serious message like serious warning to tunubu wike and igp concerning what is happening this political crisis that is going on in the river state according to her she said that she has already told tunubu to step down because tunubu know very well that he is not capable of managing government in the federal level my people this one really loud just listen to what she said in this particular video let's talk about river state nigeria for 30 years i've been a journalist and i retired in february of 2024 i will always say that it's my bragging rights However, in that career, I never did anything with political news or the political news beat. For every journalist that knows, the political news beat does not make you money, especially when you're an independent journalist. You have to take a bribe or somebody pays you on the side for you to suppress news, underreported, or even alter the news stories. So I don't deal with political news. But at the end of the day, I'm still a journalist and I know what's going on. I'm doing this video for the people of River State and President Tinumbu. All year long, I've been telling President Tinumbu to step down because he cannot manage government in the federal level. The economy is destroyed, the petrol prices are off the whack, and so much more. Now is the safety and well-being of the people of River State, Nigeria. I only tell the truth. Nobody backs me. Nobody supports me. Nobody donates to me. Everybody hates me in Nigeria, but I will keep telling you the truth. If you don't like it, unfollow this video. What I'm looking at is very disturbing. A local government election over the weekend. There was so much political brouhaha to that, including the police chief. Now the elections have happened. The new party faction, APP, has swept 22 out of 23, I believe, local governments. Yet... The IGP, Inspector General of Police, Dr. Kayade Egbetokun, had the nerves to withdraw VIPs and police protection for the people in that party. Dr. Egbetokun, you are the IGP. You swore an oath to take care of the Nigerian people. However, what are you doing? What you're doing is endangering the Nigerian people. You have refused to protect the people of Rivers. The Equerry Local Government Secretariat was seen on TV and all over social media yesterday burning. Arsonists who are thugs were sent over there to burn it down. The lives of the people of River State concern me. Yes, I've been there once or twice or three times and I was locked up there six months, three arrests. I studied the people of River State, Port Harcourt, everywhere. I was there for 30 days after I left prison. At the end of the day, Dr. Egbetokun, you're no longer the IGP of Nigeria. You're now the IGP of APC. You're not doing your job. And I'm saying this as a warning to people in Nigeria. I don't live in Nigeria anymore. I left Nigeria. I fled Nigeria from all the nonsense and all the crazy things going on over there. And all the persecution that I get from rich citizens who like to sue me left, right, and center. And the police that help me arrest, help them arrest me for their shenanigans. This is what's going to happen. President Sinumbu and IG... IGP Egbetokon, if you're not going to protect the rivers people, they will start to protect themselves. They will start to defend themselves. This is my recommendation for the rivers people. Protect yourselves, defend yourself. Okay? In journalism, we defend media freedom. Okay? And that's why I left Nigeria, because I will not be suppressed. I will not be silenced. I will continue talking from my location here. The Rivers people are not safe and they will defend and protect themselves. If the police chief thinks that he can withdraw, you know, police, you know, um, protection to some of this local government chairmen and things. Finally, Minister Wiki, it is time for you to keep your hands off Rivers. When Peter Odili handed over to you in Rivers, you became the godfather that will not leave. I watched you sit on a table with my 89-year-old father to join your friend Sheyi Mackinday to commission some things in your state. I've always had respect for you, Minister Wiki. Look at your party, PDP. PDP is a shameful party. 
For years, they'll be suspending people left, right, and center because they're doing anti-party activities. And you are the grand patron of that. If there has to be an anti-party activity, you're a PDP governor that turned into an APC minister. And you're still putting your hands on rivers. Minister Wiki, it is enough. We don't live forever. 2124 is the year that we all look forward to. You know why? Because none of us will be here. Even the newborn baby born today, October 8th, 2024, will not be here, 2124. Nothing lasts forever. The houses we built will be owned by somebody else or demolished for a mall or shopping center. The cars we own will be sitting in a scrapyard, torn apart for newspaper parts. The money we own will be brown, decayed. It will be nothing anymore. Live for today, not for tomorrow, Minister Wiking. President Tinumbu, you cannot rule Nigeria. You're definitely not coming back in 2027. I can tell you that I will be voting that one. And you can't manage Nigeria. IGP Egbetokun. Dr. Egbetokun, I had a lot of respect for you. But on the Rivers case and how you're letting the devil use you, that's what they call it in the Bible. I'm also an evangelist at Dr. Kemi Ministries on Facebook. Yeah, Dr. Kemi Ministries on Facebook. And in evangelism, we always say that don't let the devil use you. You're letting the devil use you, Dr. Egbetokun. And I don't even know who the devil is, whether it's Tinumbu or the devil devil. But you're letting them use you to intimidate and frustrate the people of River State. Once again, I close my statement by saying, if you don't protect the people of Rivers, they will protect themselves. They will defend themselves. And then when they start doing that, you will now say it's lawlessness. Do the right thing. Dr. Ibetsokon, Minister Wiki, and President Tinumbu. I've put my word down. Nobody likes me, nobody likes my truth. If you don't like the truth, unfollow my videos. You don't have to watch them. Okay, because you may be the next casualty in Nigeria. Then you'll be seeing people writing RIP on your Facebook page or it is well, or don't let Nigeria happen to you. Nigeria is my country. Nigeria will happen to me because I will make it good. Nobody lives abroad forever. Stop intimidating us. Stop intimidating journalists. Stop poisoning people. Stop. Dr. Wow, well said, Dr. Kemi. Like everything she said here is on point, my people. And I laugh, you know, when people said, why is Tinubu keeping quiet? Are you guys serious? Is he not in Nigeria again, my people? These three people mentioned in this video, they are all working together, my people. You guys know what happened during the election 2023. So right now, Tinubu is giving Wike all the support in order to make sure that we can continue to hold River State to ransom my people so that come 2027, he will help him to manipulate the election just as he did during the election 2023. We all saw it with our crow crow eyes. So this is not a story, my people. And I hope you guys watched the interview Wike had yesterday where he said, the only thing that can bring peace in the River State is for Sinfubara to obey the court order. My people put court order. We all know that there's two court order in River State. The one that said that there will be no election and the one that said there should be election. So which one does we can want Sinfubara to obey my people? Just as I said before, that Sinfubara has already defeated Nwike. So Nwike is just fighting his last fight, my people. So concerning what uh, Dr. Kemi said that she is going to campaign against Tinubu come 2027. Like if this Kaba said that Tinubu is going to continue, he's going to continue. Is it not here that some people came out and told us that it's only like five to 10 people that will sit on the round table and then they will decide who is going to be our president, that our vote does not even count, my people, that we are just wasting our time. So if those Kabas decide that Tinubu is going to continue after 2027, my people is going to happen. That is the country we all find ourselves. So my people, that is it. Just as I said before, that I quite agree with everything Dr. Kemi said in this particular video, which I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section as well. And if today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, share this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much for doing so. 
I will see you guys in my next update. Goodbye for now.